Hello, we are going to create a low polygon tree with default UV set so we don't have to unwrap UV as we make the tree grow. Okay, let's go ahead and start it. So create a polygon primitives, cylinder, and in the channel box, we we'll want to make subdivision to 6. Okay. And now we want to make it a high, uh, well, long enough for the tree trunk. And uh, I'll make that. Give it more sub D. Press insert key to make the pivot point to go all the way down. Insert key again, snap to the grade. Okay. The next thing is I'm going to delete all by history. You know, one key for successfully create a tree with this way is constantly delete history. Okay, so I'm going to use it uh, deformer, and uh, this time I'm going to use lattice. Want to make that subdivision small enough? No. Subdivision is six, maybe. So I'll use a scale it and a scale it. Okay, and uh, um, move it to one. And I'll create a tree, you have to worry about a 360 degree. Delete all by history. So now let's take a look at the UV layout. So I wanted to go ahead uh, delete the top and uh, the bottom face, Ctrl X. Okay. Delete. And uh, I need to just uh, scale that up. Now, so my next job is to start create uh, the branches. Okay, select part of this. Uh, tree and use polygon and uh, duplicate face okay and select the duplicate face scale it I want to rotate it a little bit. Move the pivot point so it's easier for you to translate it. Okay. Control D. Duplicate this guy. And uh, I'm going to scale it. Scale down and uh, rotate it. And this time I'm uh, moving up. Do click it. Create additional branch. group and I want to duplicate again 
And at this time, I'm going to put that pivot point, move the pivot point to the bottom of this branch. And again, I want it to rotate it. Scale it to that. So for now, I think that's good. And uh, the, I'm going to weld them into the big chunk okay so um, for doing that I'm going to select few polygons maybe just this one say control X delete this face move the points You know, wherever the branch is coming out, it normally um, it's, it, the area is going to be a little bit bigger. So, um, so now I have uh, duplicated and uh, uh, positioned each branch where I want them to meet the main trunk. Take a look at the UV texture editor. And you will see the UVs are still nicely um, stacking on top of each other. Okay, so uh, my next job is going to combine them all together. So combine. And then sew the edges together. Okay, take a look at it. Uh, use merge edge to edge. If the tool doesn't work, you just have to get out it, and uh, um, you can press Q or I. In my case, I use uh, uh, when to move, uh, when to select to, and then come back. Okay, uh, we got uh, the base tree modeled. Okay, I wanted to make a baby tree wrap around with the mother tree. Okay, so press insert key, move it here, and uh, right here. One delete all by history. And uh, go to animation, create nonlinear deformer. This time I'm going to use a twist. We need to rotate the twist. And I wanted to move it over here a bit. Now let's see. Closer. Okay, that's 
probably good enough and I will probably need it to you know move the birds around so delete all by history get rid of the default one. and then now I think that's uh, not bad so uh, if you want to be more precise you might just uh, move the points here there to get it Okay, so now I wanted to add more leaves, apply texture, and uh, maybe adjust uh, some uh, UVs. So let's get it, the hyper shader window. And I wanted to uh, bring the textures here. So I have these three textures. Oh, this, these two leaf textures has an uh, alpha channel create a number this is the tree trunk material color and I'm going to apply that is assign material okay now uh, let's get a closer look at it um, I want to select the UV show and I go to windows texture editor window and I can see I don't have enough UV space so I'm going to just give a little bit more texture space the texture does not stretch too much. Let me try this one. Visual. Same thing. To your visual. these guys definitely I could do more uh, fun turning on the UVs but I want to just go ahead uh, I save that later let me just go ahead assign texture for the leaves okay so so first I needed to create a polyplane and uh, let's see this is definitely too much. I might use that and I'm going to apply it to it. Could it be scaled up a little bit with this leaf? And now uh, one thing I wanted to move is the pivot point. I want to move the pivot point somewhere at the end of the steam. Alright, now 
I want to duplicate this guy and I rotate it and 